Okay, this sermon is entitled, Sky Out, 100% Unsaved. I'd like to open up with prayer, and then with a few verses. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 12 reads, Help, Lord, for the godly man ceaseth, for the faithful fail from among the children of men. They speak vanity, every one with his neighbor, with flattering lips, and with a double heart do they speak. The Lord shall cut off all flattering lips, and the tongue that speaketh proud things. Now there's this confused Calvinist on YouTube whose name is Skyout, and he has been completely brainwashed by Calvinism insofar that the gospel message makes absolutely no sense to him. And he basically just regurgitates a bunch of stupid Calvinistic facts that he rips off from Calvinistic websites or reads from Calvinistic books. And when it comes to salvation, he has about as much understanding of this as a blind bat specializing in color theory. And I've told Sky out many times in comment sections that he's unsaved, and I've never received a denial or a rebuttal. And that just reinforces my point. So let's take a listen to what he has to say about salvation, and then I'm going to expose him as the unsaved Calvinist that he is. Here goes. Offenders, these greedy, drunkards, slanders, no swindlers. And it literally says we will not inherit the kingdom of God. But oh, oh, that, that just means millennial reign. That just means losing eternal rewards. Now, that just means burning in hell for all of them. So, basically, what he's saying is that if you're guilty of one of the sins on the list in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, then you're going to burn in hell. He mocks the idea that this is referring to inheriting the kingdom or losing or gaining rewards, and he believes that if you're guilty of certain sins, namely being a thief or covetous, or a drunkard, or a reviler, or extortioner, that you're going to hell. And he's got this series on his channel entitled, The Bible Versus Free Grace. And this just shows you how stupid and unsaved he is, because the Bible teaches free grace. Romans 3.24, Romans 5.15-20, and why would anyone who's actually saved by grace try to pit free grace against the Bible? It makes absolutely no sense, but the simple fact that he thinks that certain sins will cause you to go to hell proves that he has not trusted Jesus Christ to pay for his sins. Let's continue listening. It's only going to get worse. Here goes. That's what that means. There's no such thing as losing eternal rewards because you accepted Christ and you become a male prostitute. You're not going to just only lose the millennial reign. You're not only going to lose his, uh, gain his chastisement. You're not only going to lose discipleship and some shit. You're going to lose salvation. Now, if you understood what he's saying, despite the fact that it sounds like he's chewing on crackers while he's talking, you'll find that he believes that if you commit certain sins, as listed in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, that you won't lose rewards, you'll actually lose your salvation. Let's listen to that last part one more time. Here goes. You're going to lose salvation. You're going to lose salvation. You're going to lose salvation. Now, I thought Calvinist traditionally did not believe in salvific loss, but I guess because they're so soteriologically confused that you can expect anything from these unsaved devils. And according to Skyout, you can lose your salvation if you sin. Now, this tells us several things. Number one, he does not believe that salvation is by grace alone through faith alone in Christ alone. He does not believe that Jesus Christ is the one who actually saved. It's up to you to not commit certain sins. And he also does not believe in the eternal security of the believer. Once saved, always saved. So now let's turn over to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, and let's see what these verses are actually saying. It reads in verse 9, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Now, there's a distinction between 
entering the kingdom of God and inheriting it. But see, when it comes to these passages, no differential is needed because this is specifically talking about unsaved people. That's why it says in verse 9, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. These verses are not describing Christians who commit fornication or idolatry or adultery. They're describing unbelievers. That's why they're named after their sin. And the only reason these people are unrighteous is because they don't have the imputed righteousness of God by faith alone in Christ alone. But see, when it comes to unsaved people like Sky Out, they don't make any distinction between saved and unsaved. They just believe that if you're committing these sins, you're not saved, based on the fact that you're committing them, which proves, once again, that their salvation is not based on grace. It's based on them refraining from certain sins. So that's all I have. Sky Out is 100% unsaved, and he has Calvinism to thank for it. And that's because Calvinism does not save anyone. And when it comes to people like Sky Out, that's all they've ever believed. Because the only alternative to Calvinism and being unsaved is free grace. And all he does is continually mock it and reject it to his own impending damnation. So watch out for Sky Out and other Calvinists. They need to be marked and avoided as being the unsaved devils that they are. That's all I have. Let me go ahead and close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name, amen.